Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizlun. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, CSS to customize the buttons within Construct2 in order to make the buttons more attractive. To get started, we need to download the CSS import.zip plugin, open it, right click, copy, locate your C drive. Then locate the program files folder, double click on the construct2. Please note that if your construct2 it is not on the program files folder, double check you should have two program files folders, one for the 32-bit operating system, so it could be in there. Now let's go there, so I'm going to double click on construct2, double click on exporters, double click on HTML5, finally double click on plugins, and right click and paste. I'm gonna minimize this, I'm gonna close this as it's no longer needed. And here I have created a style sheet. You can create a new style sheet by actually creating a new text document. And then you can call it, so I'm just gonna call it style one. CSS, you see the pop-up, select yes. As I have Dreamweaver installed on my computer, uh, the default CSS editor. I've got now my CSS style ready. If I click edit, I will be able to see the actual styles that I've got. I have the normal position for a button and I have the hover position of the button. So when the end user hover over with their mouse uh, over the button, the background color will change, the font color will change. Let's close this. Let's go to the construct2 and create a new project. You can use an existing project. The first thing I need to do is double click here and import, go to the web section and select the CSS import. If you cannot see the CSS import is because your plugin, CSS plugin is not installed properly. So try to follow the steps so you actually see the CSS import. Now I have selected the CSS, CSS import uh, plugin I'm going to go to the properties and just change this to style dot CSS. I'm just going to put here one, two, three, just break it purposely so you can see that it's not going to actually function if this name is not correctly set. Yeah, I'm going to then go to files, right click and select import and I'm going to import my style dot CSS. Please note that you can put as many style sheets as you wish. Let's import file, import. I'm just going to import the style one as well. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click and add a button. I'm going to type on the text, reset, click to reset again. And I would like to apply the styles over to this button. To do this, I need to actually apply the actual style that I have on my button. And I call the button, button1. All lowercase, no spaces. Please note that if you put spaces on the CSS, your style will not function. So make sure when you do that, you don't have any spaces here either. And now I have done that, I can actually test my project. And as you can see here, it's not functioning properly. This is because the style sheet I have import is called style.css. However, the imported plugin, I've called it, I've asked to look for style123. So if I remove the 123 and click away to register, my selection, as you can see here, says style.css and run the project again. Yeah, as you can see here, my style is it has been applied. I'm just gonna go here, double click on the style.css, go here and click here and change the font color. Sorry, the background color to a bit lighter. Control S to save or file save as I have saved it now it's, it's grayed out and now I can actually go to play the project 
So when I hover over with my mouse, the coupon code changes. So this is how you customize the button by using CSS. You can also change the font size as well as the color. So if I go here, I can actually change the font size. Let's bring this here so you can see exactly what's going on. Please note I've placed my mouse cursor between the style, within the style, button one. Then click here, edit rule, to generate the edit rule window. It's going to go to the type. I'm going to set the font size to the Dana. I'm going to change the font size to 36. I'm going to set it to bolder. I can make it italic. I can, can underline it. And I can change the font color if I wish. Click OK. And I can actually apply the same style here. However, because I don't want to go through the wizard here, I'm just going to copy all this for the font family. Right click copy, right click paste. So I've got my styles here. Let's go. Let's type a little bit much better. So I'm going to control this to save. I'm going to go back to my window and if I refresh the page, the font size and the style has changed. So this is how to customize a button by using CSS. Now let's select this button to reset the things. So if I uh, double click here, uh, add the tile background very quickly. And I'm going to make it solid. I will also add uh, a sprite. And let's put it there. And I'm going to change other behavior to be platform. So it's going to be a player. And uh, then my button is called button. If I go to the event sheet, I'm going to add a new event. And I'm going to select a button, click. So when the end user clicks on the button, I want the system restart layout okay so on button click i want to restart the layout so if we display okay i've got here my character now if i click here the player should go back to the beginning that's it okay so it's working so this is how i can restart my game reset my game sorry and this is how to customize the styles. Thank you for watching.